हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 टुडे इज लास्ट डे ऑफ पुरुषोत्तम मंथ in this month we heard from many preachers the glories of shri purushottam month <clears throat> which comes after three years now who knows uh, if i am able to see the next purushottam or not no sense no guarantee there is no surety <clears throat> if i'll be alive for the next purushot but this purushot the month went so fast and devotees around the world following some rules regulations of their daily sadhan chanting fixed number of rounds uh, <clears throat> <coughs> singing some ashtakam <coughs> reading bhagavatam every day <coughs> hearing hari katha or and also some guru seva some pradaya seva <coughs> and in this way the days and nights pass so fast so fast pushota month ending today but prashota month the month of krishna prepared us to following the month of kartik also coming soon starting 31st october <coughs> so the same sorry <coughs> the same regulations the same procedure the same sadhan or we can say something more we can do in kartik <clears throat> kartik is the month of radha rani and so many auspicious tithis come pop in this month of kartik <clears throat> so many of our guru vargas acharyas their appearance and disappearance pop in this month of kartik Uh, and uh, so many pastimes of Krishna, all in the month of Kartik. So don't feel relax. Okay, Prashota is finished, and I have fifteen days to relax, and then I will start Kartik again. And let me give up some chanting. Let me give up reading. Let me. Start again with Prajalpa. <clears throat> no, keep it. Maintaining this uh, till thirtieth November, <clears throat> the last day of Kartik. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> In this way, we are preparing our mind. Mind setup is very important. when a person can accomplish very difficult sadhan when there is mind set up <clears throat> for example some devotee says other days is so difficult to give up eating and drinking uh, after, after every 4 hours one feel really i'm starving i need something to eat but you see on special days like krishna janmashtami gaur purnima baldev purnima narsing chaturdashi whole day fasting without eating and drinking whole day till midnight <clears throat> krishna janmashtami till midnight all o'clock no drinking huh? a special potency is there on that day so it becomes so easy 
because krishna resided on that city let us make our day and night our thoughts everything just krishna just krishna <clears throat> because this is the aim of our human life not to attain krishna but krishna prem prayojan <clears throat> the aim is krishna prem which is so difficult right <clears throat> because krishna wants 100% prem sarva dharman paritajji he want 100% anan ananya cintamam je jana paripat bhagavad gita he wants 100% <clears throat> therefore we are on the path of progression that's the life of sadhak and sadhak <clears throat> we all are sadhak sadhak means we are practicing this in the course of that practice there are so many ups and downs but maintaining the sadhan is very important <clears throat> maintaining in any circumstance shri bhakti siddhant topa said whatever happens in his instructions he say even if we chanting and some bad thoughts coming in mind so thinking the bad thoughts is coming in mind i shall not chant your holy name shri topa said no don't give up <clears throat> keep on chanting oh even if it is bad thoughts yes keep on chanting with the secondary result of chanting hari naam gradually one will overcome this <clears throat> bhagavatam says krishna says in bhagavatam jat shadho mat kathasu nirvin sarv karmasu वेद दुखात्म कामान परित्याग्य उपनिश्वर तथो भजते माम श्रद्धालु दृढ़ निश्चय चुष्पना च काम परित्याग्य परिहेय वन हु हैज डेवलप्ड कृष्ण सिंह जात शदो मत कथा से वन हैज वन हैज डेवलप्ड श्रद्धा फेथ इन माय कथा इवन दो पर्सन इज स्ट्रगलिंग विद द माइंड struggling with the senses but something positive a person gained is developed a taste in hari katha genuine taste in hari katha krishna says very soon he will overcome all other uh, obstacles in the sadhana तथो भजते माम श्रद्धालु कीप ऑन चैंडिंग कीप ऑन परफॉर्मिंग साधन सो इन प्रोसेस ऑफ साधन सो मेनी अप्स एंड डाउन सो मेनी क्रिटिसिजम्स कम सो मच ब्लेम कम टॉलरेटिंग हीट टॉलरेटिंग कोल्ड Uh, health so many things come from the way but sadhak is one who is even after going through all this never gives up his sadhan his daily practices of chanting and the taste for hari katha we should not think not never Oh, I'm chanting sixty rounds, twenty rounds. This is this is that simple. That's not actually sadhan. Anyone can do this. No, it's not like that. Anyone can do this. People find it difficult to even chant one round of Ma Mantra because of lack of sukriti. we have given this gift by krishna from our purva sanchita from our previous sukriti 
Oh, we are blessed with this. So it's not that easy going, okay, I'm chanting 16 rounds in one sense, which is not enough. Okay, chanting 16 rounds in one day is not enough. 64 rounds is the idol. But most of us, we can't do that. But at least a try, at least an attempt, chanting eight hours, seven hours a day. And then so many other things to do, the whole day goes so fast. And one gets attached to Harinam. Just like chanting 60 rounds goes so fast. So most of the devotees were chanting from 10 to 20 years. Find oh, 60 rounds, two hours, already passed. And the same situation will come when in the beginning we find difficult to chant 64 rounds. But if it becomes our practice, then after some after some days we find oh that 64 rounds went so fast. So it's just mind setup. Now hearing 64 rounds chanting every day, there's me thunderbolt on the head. Oh, I will die, I can't do this. Because mind setup is not there. When there is mind setup, one can achieve everything. Understand? Mind setup. No, no, I cannot fast on Krishna Janmashtami for a whole day without water. I can't do this. Right in the beginning, if you think I can't do this, you're not able to do this. But if the mind is strong, you can do this. Hmm? As Srila Bhakti Deit Madhav Goswami Maharaj told one of his disciples, you will not die if you don't eat one day. No one die. Only if a person don't eat for three, four days, still it's not done. Still a person will not die. Uh, because then water is there to make survive survival. So without eating one day, no one dies. Without uh, giving up one meal a day, no one dies. It's just mind setup. <clears throat> oh, it's just a mind setup. Similarly, this is not. I'm saying because only following the month of Purushottam, but preparing for the month of Kartik. Mind setup. We have still have 15 days, almost 15 days. Same, same zeal and same confidence. And mind setup, yes. I will not waste this Kartik month. Because Whatever sadhan, whatever tapasya, austerity, harinam or seva we will do, ultimately it's going to benefit us. I'm not going to do this for to oblige anyone. I'm obliged to Krishna. He's giving me this opportunity, which is not be given to many around the world. Understand? Even a person is so much intelligent, so much money, can't do bhajan. I met when a very rich person, billionaire. He has so much money that if he don't work, he can still survive and his five generations can survive. He has so much money. <clears throat> but he can't come to Vrindavan or Mayapur to make a big palace for him there and stay there and do bhajan with all facilities, with all servants, cannot do. Why? <clears throat> mind set up mind. The mind needs tuning. Just tune the mind. And the course is changed. 
every sadhak every devotee <clears throat> goes through something or the other so we have to be is strong the shakti will come from halad ni shakti that's sadharani one devotee asked me this question that we are hearing radha tattva we are hearing the glories of radha rani but she is haladin shakti of krishna is very much natural in her for us it's so difficult to do exactly as she is doing to develop that you know selfless prem for krishna then why we have to hear the glories of radha rani because we can't compare ourselves with her we are practicing and she is manifestation of krishna i said this is true we cannot become radha rani but all what we are hearing from so many days so many weeks months the glories of radha rani is giving us what inspiration that that is our idol that's our idol in giving us inspiration these qualities of radha rani is what ma prabhu uttered in his shlokas for example today's class <coughs> the next quality of radha rani dhaire shalini you know charu sobhagya re khandaya gandod madit madava sungi parsar vigya ramya vak narva pandita vinit karnapurna vidagta patanvita lajja shil su maryadaya dhare gambhir shalam we heard till maryada right <coughs> dhare shalini means so much tolerance she is so much tolerant she is getting accused by her mother in law jatila <clears throat> she is getting accused by her sister in law kutila and by her husband abhimanyu and also by the unfavorable group vipaksha padma shabya and all but she is so much tolerant tolerating all this for what tolerating for the prem of krishna krishna is center and the prem of krishna is the most center point more center than krishna <laughs> krishna even krishna is not center in many occasions but the loving service to krishna means the prem of krishna is most center point krishna is not center otherwise why she has to sometimes rebuke krishna or man to krishna no anukulena krishna nushilanam bhakti ruttama exactly just like uh, mother yashoda she kept krishna on the ground and she ran to protect that milk the priority is not krishna the priority is the service to krishna krishna prem so radha rani is so tolerant hearing so much sometimes lalita sakhi also chastise radha rani she has to give up her mood <coughs> dhurte vrajend tane etan shushta vamya मादक्षिणा भाव कलंके निलागवाय राधे गिरम शुनुम इति शिक्षयन्ति देवीं गुणै सुललितम ललितम नमः व्हाट इज द ट्रांसलेशन करोमि ललिताश्रकम धूरते व्रजेन सेकंड वर्ड्स दैट यस यू हैव ओके प्लीज रीड फॉर अस द ट्रांसलेशन इज राधिके 
सेक्शन Mm. If you say this word kalankani, and the the lady will just kill you. Very bad word. But who's saying this? Lalita. Lalita Sakhi to Radha Rani. Radha. So okay. Speak. Uh, Rajendra Nandan is very cunning. So be firm in your contrariness. Do not give in to gentle submission. Radhe, listen to this beneficial words. In this way, she gives instructions. I offer pranam unto Lalita Devi, who is a responsive repository. repository of charming qualities. So, what to speak of mother-in-law, Jatila, sister-in-law Kutila, always telling her. But even Lalita Sakhi, who is right hand of Radha Rani. Lalita Sakhi, who is so dear and near to Radha Rani, what she is saying? Oh, Kalankani, oh, unchaste one. Dhurte brajend sanne tan shushta vamne. Don't give up your uh, um, submissive mood. Let that brajend nanda Krishna come and pacify you. So from from every corner she is tolerating 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 but this with dalita sakhi is tolerating in a favorable way but jatilan kutila is unfavorable you understand but so much tolerating to meet krishna she has to make excuse and she take flowers paraphernalia some ingredients to to tell uh, telling jatila i'm going for surya puja to worship sun god and some other excuse all the time so rugva sami pad is saying how much she is tolerant and he uttered this words here tivra tarjati bhin vrig krapati chadde padma haram hareti hari parinitam keshinu bhartu swasva मल्ली लुम्पति कृष्ण काम में कुसुमा शब्य प्रिय वरखरी राधा पश्य तथापति सहना कृष्ण मसो तिष्ठति ओके व्हाट इज सो गुड टाइम इज सेइंग ओन माशी वी टीयर्स इन हर आईज डिस्क्राइबिंग दिस क्वालिटी ऑफ राधा रानी टॉलरेंस ओन माशी सेइंग टू नंदी मोकी padma who is so the other camp we call vipaksha the unfavorable camp the vipaksha gopis who all are there chandravali padma shabya these are prominent ones okay so what padma is doing padma she went to abhimanyu the husband of radha rani <clears throat> and complained about her <clears throat> by hearing the complaints of padma means padma went to abhimanyu and told you know your wife radha she is going to krishna she making excuses so many things and by hearing this abhimanyu became very angry and is roaring and is roaring for radha rani then at the same time sister in law kutila she also have one pet she monkey so just like radha has she monkey call kakati and krishna has monkey call 
What is his pet monkey? Dadi Loba. <clears throat> the pet monkey of Krishna is Dadi Loba. <clears throat> and pet monkey of Radharani Kakhati. But uh, Kutila, the sister in law, Radharani, she also have one monkey, uh, she monkey, and she taught, Kutila taught that monkey to go and steal uh, the garment of Krishna. Okay. So the details are not mentioned here, but you can understand. Uh, there would have been any garland of Krishna which Radharani liked the most and she kept that garland maybe she's touching that garland and seeing garland and remembering Krishna uh, but Kutila whose, whose nature is Kutil Kutil means Kutil means uh, hypocrite nature not straight Kutila taught her she monkey go and steal that garland. And monkey monkeys are very expert in stealing. That's why another name of monkey is Hari. Hari means to steal. And another name of Krishna is also Hari. He also steals. What is he? Braje Prasidam Navani Pachoram. He steals the butter. He steals the garments of the gopis. He steals the mood and complexion of Radharani. But not only that. Uh, anek janama chitpapa choram choram ganyam purusham namami Oh, the best of the thieves. Krishna is Hari means, oh Krishna, you being Hari, stealing, steal my sins from birth and birth and birth. Ah, please steal those sins. Make me pure to serve you. So, <clears throat> okay, one question. We love Krishna or Krishna love us? We love Krishna? No. We love our car, we love our house, we love our relatives, our family members. Yes. <clears throat> but Krishna? Krishna loves love us. He's concerned for us. So this is just like one side love. Krishna is loving us, but we are not attempting to love Krishna. So, we can imagine what he is going to do. But, when we progress in our practice, and with this mood, I really want to develop that love with you, Krishna. You are chaste. You are pure. I am not pure, and I am most unchaste. My only love should be towards your lotus feet. You are only object of love, but my love is divided in many objects and in many people. So, <clears throat> so when, when, which day, in which life will it be possible? Uh, is it possible that my object of love will be for you, oh, oh Krishna. Yeah. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> Kutila, she taught that she monkey and she steal the garland of Krishna. So first of all, Padma, all these are unfavorable ones, Vipaksha. Padma, she went to Abhimanyu, the husband of Radharani, and don't know what she spoke to her, uh, spoke to him, 
and abhimanyu is so angry that is shouting screaming and same time kutila also stole the garland of krishna then another one shabya they are all our friends of chandravali listen and different and unfavorable vipaksha so shabya she has one um, goat so shabya taught one goat to go um, and to go to the garden <clears throat> and those leaves and flowers which are very dear to krishna go and eat all those leaves and flowers that means it's understandable here because this is what rupa goswami is writing but jeev goswami is giving details of this but what jeev goswami is giving details of this is only in sanskrit which is not my language so just an assumption <clears throat> that there is one garden may be taken care of by radha rani and she develop she grow sorry she grow uh, those flowers and leaves which are dear to krishna so torturing radha rani shabya she sent her goat to destroy this garden eat all those flowers and leaves so shabya did this and radha rani she is seeing this with her eyes she is seeing this how padma how shabya and how kutila is acting against me how radha rani is reacting to this dhare shalini she just moan she just standing silent not reacting <clears throat> not reacting to this because she is <clears throat> she is very tolerant tolerant she can't do anything why can't do anything because shabya and padma who are counterpart they are also pleasing krishna <clears throat> yeah. they also serve krishna radha rani knows this so even though she getting tortured by them she is not reacting but let me see <clears throat> there is one word So there was one word I'm not finding. Even though Radha Rani is not reacting to this, she is so tolerant. Even though Padma and Shabya they are acting against her. Hmm. But one occasion, when Radha Rani was sitting, <clears throat> Padma came, and seeing Padma is coming. Radha Rani in the mood of honoring her <coughs> stood up 
even though she is getting indication from lalita and others no need to stand up no need to stand up but she still she gave respect to them why respect to them because they also serve krishna oh yes vinita i think we skipped that point vinita karuna purna we discussed right vinita she is so there is no one as humble as radharani because even though she is famous in gokul and she is uh, getting indication instructions from her uh, seniors but she saw bhadra again bhadra is also again other party <laughs> seeing bhadra coming radharani stood up and welcomed her you see how we can say radharani has any jealousy even to those who are against her no this nothing like this she even respect those who are against her why because she knows they all please krishna krishna goes to their kunjas krishna go to their camp and get served by them so rather we feel delighted with this but the only problem is she knows how uh, the way i can serve krishna no one else can serve krishna that's only her worry is and the question is answered yesterday in the class the question is do radharani alone want to be with krishna she never allows us sakhi no that's not correct we heard this also right chitra radharani fulfill her promise chitra sakhi very dear to radharani and radharani told chitra today i will make you go and do abhisar what is abhisar rendo means to have passed them with krishna <clears throat> already gave word and vrinda sakhi came to radharani and said oh radhe i arrange a meeting for you at sanket the middle of nandgaon and barsana radharani said no i cannot go vrinda sakhi said why not today is purnima full moon and sham sundar is waiting for you why are you giving up this opportunity this is so rare she said because i have given word to chitra i want chitra to go and serve sham sundar today you see where is the point of jealousy here no she want lalita vishakha all the sakhi to be with krishna hmm? but govardhan when you go govardhan uh, if you ever come to kartik parikrama or even if you go govardhan sometime uh, near to govardhan there is one village called petha gram petha means where krishna trying to play with the gopis and he manifested his four arm form uh, gopis in search of krishna <clears throat> <clears throat> the gopis came and so narayan sitting there four arm narayan shankar chakra ganda padam gopis didn't give any attention to narayan and paid obeisances to narayan and again serving krishna narayan who is so beautiful is vilas vigraha of krishna but they are not attracted to see because their concentration everything is krishna uh, but then radharani came also in search of krishna and krishna who is trying to be tricky who is trying to be playful with radharani he can't act any more with four hands 
and his two hands went inside his body uh, and that's why it's called petha petha gram two arms went inside and he uh, bound to come in his two arm form shama sundar form so radharani so oh krishna you trying to play with us now shila bhakti vigyan bharti goshai maharaj he gave commentary on this beautiful past time happened here those gopis who don't want to follow the footsteps of radharani they only saw krishna as narayan they didn't had darshan of krishna i mean they didn't understood this is krishna because they are ahead of radharani they are not following radharani who are these this group chandravali padma shabya this group yeah. even though they love krishna but seeing krishna is four hand narayan form they didn't understood this is krishna uh, he is krishna so they went but when radharani came krishna cannot trick any more so he became two arm form murli vadan shama sundar and who saw this all those who were following radharani understand everyone is searching krishna everyone is searching krishna the vipaksha unfavorable ones also but they were not able to see the two arm form of krishna shri maharaj said those who were following radharani they were able to see krishna the two arm form therefore radhika charana renu bhushana kariya tanu anyate pave giri dhari following the footsteps of radharani this is our line not the vipaksha is our line shri raghunanda das goswami his rati mandri right raghunanda das goswami is rati mandri and what he used to drink every day he is doing so much sadhan chanting 3000 danvat pranam every day 3000 danvat pranam and what is eating and drinking only one leaf cup of buttermilk small leaf leaf cup of buttermilk that's only is diet on a day but once upon a time a person brought a big leaf cup big leaf cup again with the same buttermilk and agunath was some accepted this but he asked oh from where you brought this big he said from sakhi uh, sakhi means from chandravali camp and ragunath das goswami he became so angry he took the stick to beat that person he don't want to accept this from chandravali camp so one can think oh in spiritual world is also like this many doubt arise because uh, we can't understand this it's not really he mean to be that person but is condemning that attempt of that person how dare you can bring this butter of milk from chandravali camp the reason being pati manjari means raghunath das goswami is to attach to only the footsteps of radha dasya sumam rasas tu rasas tu satyam only happy to become the maid servant of radha rani that's all so so shila gurudev used to say even if anyone is giving us parlovan parlovan means greed okay it's very quick and very easy i can make you one girlfriend of chandravali sakhi of chandravali shabya padma they are also leaders they have group understand these names are the leaders and there's so many in their group serving them 
and Krishna also coming there and they are serving Krishna. Krishna is happy with them. Still we want to go there? No. That's why I'm discussing this philosophy. Understand? I'm, I'm telling so many times. We are not qualified. All devotees are so young. We are not qualified. But this philosophy is giving so uh, deep impressions and determination. What is the aim and object of our practice? That has to be set up. Mind set up. And this is the details of Gaudiya Vaishnava philosophy. Otherwise, how will we come to know the glories of Gaudiya Vaishnava philosophy? What is the meaning of Gaudiya? That's why to understand this point, these details need to be known, uh, known to us. We should know this detail. And this same thing Shila Gurudev used to say. Gurudev used to say, I'm speaking all these topics, but I know no one is qualified. Still I'm saying this. To make aware uh, what is our philosophy, what is our goal, and it gives us determination, not deviation, determination, just one focus, one pointed. As Raghunanda Goswami, only and only the lotus feet of Radharani, that's all, even not accepting. This buttermilk from Chandravali. What what wrong is that? In India, people start fighting. If we say, don't eat demigods for shard. And they, pundits and all people, they start fighting. So you people are always criticizing and this and that. So many things they're saying. Hmm. <clears throat> they don't understand and this is a common question but they say what harm demigods did to you they are giving us rain they are giving us sunlight they are giving us moonlight air so much why we are not accepting their production anything offered to them why then we have to give them philosophy. So if we don't know the philosophy, how we can explain to them? Uh, and what philosophy says? Read Bhagavad Gita. Hear Bhagavad Gita. Krishna is saying this. I'm not saying this. Krishna is saying. And philosophy says. Demigods are in modes of goodness. They are in a higher position, no doubt. They are respectable. We should not disrespect them. Never. We should not disrespect our superiors. And demigods, they are superiors. Uh, they attain that that position after so many uh, pious activities. So they are superiors. We should not disrespect them. Respect. But we will not honor their person. Reason being, uh, there's a phrase in India we say, if you eat someone's remnant, you develop the qualities of that person. You develop love with that person and qualities of that person. So if we eat the remnants of demigods, that means their qualities will come in us. And their quality means same, three modes of nature. But we we honor, we eat Gurudev remnant. We eat Krishna's remnant. We eat Mahaprabhu remnant. Why? They are not in these three modes of nature. They are beyond three modes of nature. Nirguna. And this is what we want. Understand. So 
okay give me one example some years back i heard one person he drank poison something happened uh, so see how much courage is required to do this act he drank poison and then he also informs his family members i drank poison <laughs> and then they took him to hospital and then doctor they tried to drain out so he survived he survived but doctor said still poison is present in body even though we cured understand like a toxin <clears throat> like unwanted thing still in the body and it will take time detoxify your body eat this eat this medicine and this eat food detoxify and gradually gradually the poison will go away that means just by draining poison one time <clears throat> it will not come out it still remains similarly if we think for oh, once i i eat demigod ma prasad and then we got remnant what is the problem just one time i was hungry and there was nothing to eat and let us eat one time what is the problem yes it's a problem if we eat that it will go into body and it will remain there even though we start uh, from the next day we start eating krishna prasad krishna's remnant but still it will take time to detoxify that hmm. so pandits they don't understand we are do- we are not disrespecting them but we are following the correct procedure the correct philosophy why we don't eat demigods mahabhasha because this is full of gunas three modes of material nature and we don't want any material nature to be to adopt we have to transgress this modes of nature that's why we eat gurudev and krishna's prasad so this is one level try understand what i'm comparing this is one level don't eat demigod prasad only eat krishna prasad this is beginning level okay. this is beginning level but the level which i am speaking i spoke earlier about shri raghunath das goswami that extreme level are baba what is the harm chandravali she is a gopi she is cousin of radharani ah krishna also play past tense with her kunj leela chubit chandravali she is of krishna what's the problem what is the harm Hmm. It is respectable, of course. What is the harm to eat her remnant? Understand? That's the extreme. And Sri Raghunath Das Goswami, as our Acharya, is teaching this one. No. Radha Paksha Chadi, J Jan Se Jan. जे भावे से भावे थाके अमित और राधिका पक्षपाती सदा कबूना हेरी तक राधा पक्ष छड़ी जे जन से जन जे भावे से भावे थाके अमित और राधिका पक्षपाती सदा कबूना ही हेरी थाके विषभानु सुता चरण सेवाने कोई बोझे पाल्या दा दिस इज एक्सट्रीम व्हाट टू स्पीक ऑफ ऑल दिस पंडित्स एंड सिंपल पीपल ओनली इन्वॉल्व इन जस्ट पायस एक्टिविटीज ऑल दिस 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 अ वेरी लो लेवल अंडरस्टैंड वी आर we have admission in the school of vaishnavism your vaishnav and vaishnavi so this is a progression 
of course we are only eating krishna prasad but even in that there is so much detail specification that even if ragunanda goswami is getting this butter milk from chandravali he runs to beat that person go you got this from sakisthali means from chandravali camp run away from here i will die without eating or drinking but i will not accept this what i will not what whatever will i accept only dasya tumam rasasura sasu satyam only radha rani remnant that's all <clears throat> so fake so much determination understand these are two different extreme so by hearing this it gives us conviction i'm telling you we are not qualified to hear such high topics but at least one thing is there you all will understand and believe at least we are getting convinced in our heart in our mind setup now what is that so uh, radha rani the to get the dust from the lotus feet of radha rani and the glories of radha rani why krishna get mad why krishna singing radhe radhe why krishna has to be in water of radha kund till here and chanting radhe radhe what is that the flame of the flame of radha rani we can't we have no approach to touch her lotus feet but the conviction is there in the heart and gurudev said if we die in this lifetime without getting any perfection understand if we die without getting any siddhi any perfection but if we die even with this conception the conception of radha dasi and the conception of krishna supreme personality of godhead that is enough for one lifetime that achievement of one lifetime gurudev said if someone is accepted initiation gave up initiation next day take your mala i don't want to chant gurudev what harm gurudev said no harm this one day of acceptance of spiritual life and one day of chanting of spiritual life going to help this person for the next life no harm everything is positive Mm. <clears throat> therefore try forget everything else and just peacefully uh, focus on service to gurudev and service to krishna day after day so many days passing no time no time for anything else so this conviction that krishna is supreme personality of godhead even this is enough for one lifetime and we you know how many lifetimes we <laughs> understanding this and we come to this lifetime and come to this point of understanding krishna supreme we don't know how many lifetime it happens that's the result that this lifetime we are able to, we are hearing this topic it's not something easy going something is there to have, do with our past lives something definitely otherwise how we are reading chaitanya chitamrit so much glories of radha rani i am speaking you all hearing and we heard from gurudev how is possible it's not simple it didn't happen accidentally there is something from previous lives <coughs> that's why we are hearing this topic so <clears throat> purushottam as ki jay ending up purushottam as with remembering <laughs> the prem purushottam shri krishna the maryada purushottam shri ram and leela purushottam shri krishna and prem purushottam shri chaitanya mahaprabhu and Shila Guru Dev, who gives us permission, 
who gives us strength to serve these three prashottams and to understand these three prashottams yeah. yeah. keep on maintaining that same sadhan for upcoming kartik month yeah. not many days left same uh, tuning mindset up and for that we need hari katha and i will try my best whenever i get time i will try my best and i'm trying my best to engage my mind and to engage other minds also focus on this goal we have to hear this every day you know because after hari katha after one hour forget that's our status you see how much we are materially engrossed we forget after one or two hour oh finish now right now everything is charged yes conviction i will do this i will do this yes after one hour hmm like this battery low <laughs> so many <laughs> we need to charge, charge every day okay so the end of prashottam mat remembering gurudev mahaprabhu and all the vaishnavas please bless us and please forgive us for our mistakes for our uh, aparad offenses our sins please forgive us forgiving there cannot be anything big donation as the donation of forgiveness for that we need a big heart and again tolerance forgiveness shila guru dev once upon a time gave this class in mathura i still remember if any devotee comes to you and you know he has done wrong to you if he comes and asks forgiveness immediately you should forgive that person give him give him a new opportunity and forgive him otherwise he will be in trouble or she will be in trouble why because if you don't forgive the other person cannot progress in bhakti so you are creating obstacles in their bhakti because he offended you she offended you and other side if you don't forgive because forgiveness is vaishnav nature understand if you don't forgive then don't ex- expect forgiveness from krishna for yourself when you ask krishna please forgive me don't expect that because krishna will ask you how about you when somebody approached you you didn't forgive that person and you coming to me for forgiveness was deserved and desired first you try make your heart big and forgive and then you come to me you see i'm there to embrace you that's the best donation forgiveness okay i'm also asking donations from all of you <laughs> please forgive my offenses <laughs> intentionally unintentionally anyway any time if i offended anyone speaking harsh or correcting or anything just please give me this donation and forgive me for this because you know last day of prashottam everyone gives for uh, donation at indian tradition <clears throat> so i can at least choose what i want from all of you is just forgiveness and keep on forgiving me <laughs> and i will try my best to not to Uh, do mistake. I mean, I will be very polite with everyone. I will not correct or criticize anyone. <laughs> okay. So tomorrow, Saturday, <clears throat> Sunday will be there will be no class. Take a break from me because I have uh, tomorrow. I'm busy. I have one day again, <clears throat> and then Sunday is also one occasion. So two days I'm busy, and Monday is my Guru Maharaj appearance day. Definitely, I'm going to see Kari Katha same time. 
uh in my country i mean in my place not my country <laughs> not yet <laughs> my place uh it's on monday and then in india and other countries is um, going to be on tuesday <clears throat> but i'm going to speak on monday according to my time zone here same time uh one o'clock and then in the evening six o'clock we have big program many devotees coming almost 56 kg what is coming <clears throat> from different states and we're going to celebrate that so i think that's going to be live also if anyone wants to see uh, it will going to be very late for all of you but if you can uh, be awake or record it